In this tutorial we're going to, to learn how to split posts in WordPress. This is useful for those of us who like to post a lot of photos from a wedding or from a photo shoot, but we want to reduce the load time for our viewers. So the first thing we're going to do is tell WordPress where to split the post and then also where to put the links for the next pages and how to style these links. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and tell WordPress where to split the post. And the way we do that is we go into the edit page for our post. And you'll see I already have all of my photos loaded here. Um, and do note that I'm in HTML, not in visual formatting in HTML. And you want to go down to where you want to split. And then you're going to add this tag. This tag will be on the post on capturing your market and also in the description on this video. And this is our next page tag. WordPress used to have a button available for this uh, to make it a little easier on us, but uh, they've removed it to sort of simplify their menu. So we actually will have to go in and, and put the, the code in ourselves. So make sure it looks exactly like this. You want one exclamation point and two dashes on either side. So we have one split here, and you'll notice I had three pages on this post, and another split here. So this will be page one, page two, and page three. So once that is done, you want to go ahead and update your post. And then we need, the second step is to go in and tell WordPress where to put our page links. So you'll need to go into your appearance editor, and we're going to have to put this in two places. First of all, we're going to put it in our single post. And we're also going to put it on our index if we want these pages to show up on the index. So let's start with the single post. Okay. You want to put this inside of the loop, which means between the entry tags and after the content, because this is going to be where our photos show up and we want our links to be directly below that. So you'll notice the code is right here. Let me space this out so you can see it. Right here. Again, this will be in the post on what, capturing your market, and it will also be in the description. Um, and this is where we're going to tell WordPress where we want our links to show up. We want it to be after the content, and I want it to be before my uh, bookmark link plugin here. So uh, this is the code here. And so you're going to put it after the content and before the end, the close div tag for entry on the single post page, and then we're going to do the same thing on our index. Okay, you'll see there's the content. And then directly under that is the code for our link pages. Now notice something else here that I do have some CSS wrapping this tag. And what that's for is to tell WordPress how to style the page links that you see. So I've named this class page link and then it's just wrapped here. So let's go and look at what that looks like. We're going to go to our style sheet and we're going to find our page link class. Here it is. So I have a height and a margin set and then more importantly most, what most of you will do is have a font size and possibly a font color, um, you know, maybe some link stylings there as well. So, um, and then I wanted it centered in the post. So, this is my CSS, and that's it. So, the first thing you do is you tell WordPress where to split your post, and then you need to say tell WordPress where to put your links, and then finally style your links. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I will try to help any way I can. Thank you.